Hey guys, Chris from Hockey Tutorial here. Today we're going to be taking our first look at a slide board. In this case, it's going to be the G1 Extreme slide board. In case you're a bit unsure of what a slide board is, it's a piece of training equipment that allows us to practice um, for this one because it's hockey and skating specific. It allows us to practice our stroke or our stride on the ice. It allows you to practice the lateral movement on the ice, so being able to move side to side or left and right. It allows us to sort of uh, develop and strengthen the muscles that you use for skating and striding, which in turn will allow us to improve the power, strength and speed of our performance on the ice. The great thing about this is because we're going to be using the slide board to simulate the movement that you do on the ice, your striding, your stroking, and also the lateral movement that you uh, perform on the ice, um, it means that you can practice these skills uh, without a stick and a puck, develop the balance, the power and the control, and after you get good at that, you can move on to doing it with a stick and a puck, which means that you can practice a massive range of skills from the comfort of your own home. So what we're going to be doing is opening this up, taking a look at what you get with it, and taking a look at how it works, and of course giving you guys some thoughts uh, on what we think of it, but most importantly there'll be a link down below to where you guys can now go and pick one up in the UK. So one of the things I wanted to touch on real quick is the fact that it comes with a nice bag. So it means that um, if you need to carry this thing around, you need to move it or store it, it's nice and easy because of the carry case that it comes with. And um, of course, because of the pictures that I've seen online, and also um, in terms of how big this thing is in feet, it's five by eight, so that's pretty, pretty big, which is why I've cleared quite a nice space over here for me to be able to try and use this thing indoors. But let's go ahead and uh, take a look at what comes inside. So here's the slide board set up in all of its glory. As I said earlier, it's five feet by eight feet in terms of its uh, size. So it's pretty big, so make sure that you have enough space for it at home or if you're going to be using it outside or um, in a gym or in a sports hall, just make sure that there's enough space to lay this thing down. Uh, before we take a look at the actual slide board itself, I'm just going to sort of quickly talk about the bits that you get with it if we keep, take a quick look at these. So the first thing we're going to touch on is these uh, long rectangular bits at the end here, which are the stoppers. And what these are, are the um, stoppers that stop you, you have them attached onto the slide board and when you're sliding side to side, this is what sort of catches you so you don't just, you know, slide off the, the entire thing. So we'll uh, obviously take a look at how these work later on, but that's what these are on the end and you get two of those inside the box. Uh, these other bits over here are sort of bits that you can order as extra depending on where you get the slide board from. But these are sort of um, other stoppers that you can use. Uh, you also get rotating discs, but I didn't order any of those. I just went for these things over here. And what these do is that you can sort of dot these out a little bit more randomly around the slide board. So you can not only slide side to side, but you can maybe slide, you know, uh, at angles. So like diagonally across the slide board. So that's what these are here for as well. So we'll take a look at how these work later on. Um, the next bit is the uh, booties that they call them. Bit of a funny name, makes me laugh. Um, and what these are, they come in different sizes, hence the different colours. These go onto your shoes or onto your feet, and they uh, are what allow you to sort of drift and slide across the slide board with uh, minimal effort, um, so you don't get sort of stuck and um, uh, you don't have too much grip holding you to the board. Uh, the black ones over here, I believe these are the larger ones. These uh, orange ones over here are much smaller ones, as you can sort of see from the size scale over here. What we'll be using with it, I've got over here, this is the uh, new Green Biscuit uh, Pro Puck, which we're going to be um, sort of messing around on the slide board with. Uh, so we'll take a look at that in a bit. And I've got a, just a regular ice hockey puck. But of course, this is a new product. If you're interested in finding out a bit more about this over here, there'll be a review in the video uh, description down below. So taking a look at the slide board itself, you can see that it's a fantastic size for being able to move uh, across this uh, material. Practice your stroking, your striding, and of course, uh, stick handling while you're doing so. Taking a look at the actual body of the um, slide board itself, it's made from a very, very slick material, very, very similar to what we've seen on shooting pads, uh, which allows you to slide very, very well. It's high wearing, it can take a lot of abuse, which is exactly what you're going to need it to be able to do. Taking a look under the slide board, you can see that it has this sort of grip stuff over here. It's a bit harder to see because the slide board is white and the grip sort of tape at the bottom is also white as well. Um, normally a lot of the slide boards I've seen online are red, but they do have them in a variety of different colours. It's still the same guys that make them, which is the G1, uh, from or either, otherwise known as Gola 1. Uh, so this little uh, grip pads at the bottom stop the slide board from sliding around too much, or it reduces the amount the slide board moves around when you're on slightly more unusual surfaces like carpet. Uh, but if you're on anything rubbery, like kitchen tiles, this will uh, perform very, very well. You're meant to use it on a rubbery surface, but um, my carpet's not too thick, so hopefully it'll be able to hold up okay on this sort of material and not move around too much. Uh, the next thing we'll take a look at is these holes over here. Uh, if you're wondering what these are, you can see that they're sort of all over the slide board. This is where all of these different attachments over here connect up to. So showing you very, very quickly how that works.
So in terms of getting started, so what you want to do is put these stops on the ends over there. You can see that it has almost like a jigsaw puzzle like um, sort of shaping at the end with the holes that it has there, where it has two in separate sections. Bit um, tricky to understand what I mean, but if you're wondering what I'm talking about, it's these holes over here. The idea is to put, clip these um, stoppers in over here so when you're sliding side to side, this is what you push off of to go side to side. It has two lengths, you can see that if you're um, either a younger player or you're a shorter player, um, you can put, use these uh, shorter sides over here where you put one on this side, uh, one on this side over here, and the distance that you're sliding between isn't that great. But if you're a bit taller or you're a bit older, what you could do is move them all the way out so you're using the full length of the slide board, which is exactly what we're going to do. So anybody that prepares and trains for a season on the ice or wants to strengthen their leg muscles and their power on the ice knows that there's not very many specific exercises that you can do that activate the exact same muscle groups that you're going to be using while you're striding or skating, of course besides actually going on the ice and skating. The slide board happens to be one of these training equipments or pieces of equipment that activates those same muscle groups for you to be able to develop those specific things that you want to target for your performance on the ice. This isn't something that only needs to be used for strengthening your leg muscles uh, and your power on the ice. It'll also be, be great for building endurance. Um, using the slide board is actually a lot of hard work. You may think that because you're gliding side to side it's not very sort of um, energy hungry, but it is definitely hard work being able to move side to side. Keeping low, uh, keeping that athletic stance takes a lot of energy and a lot of effort, so great for building your stamina and fitness. But most importantly, if you have any players or skaters that have those really short, sort of really abrupt um, crossovers and strides, you see them at the rink when they're crossing over, when they're striding very short and choppy. This will teach them how to lengthen those strides out to be able to get the correct technique out of each stride and for them to be able to generate enough power while still maintaining a good center of uh, gravity and control. The same thing that we talk about while you're on the ice, you're going to need to focus on having a nice athletic stance which involves having a good knee bend because what this does, it activates all of those muscles that you need to be using while you're on the ice. So this is the position that you want to try and be in while you're sliding on this board. The next bit over here is going to be the positioning of um, our feet once we're actually getting ready to push off. Uh, the idea is because I'm going to be using, um, in my case, my right leg over here to push off, when I push off the stopper over here, the last point of my body that I want to be touching the stopper is going to be my toe. You want to be in sort of this position over here, uh, because what this is going to be simulating is the same sort of hockey stride that you do while you're on the ice. You want to have a nice effective stride where you're extending your leg completely, the last bit that comes off the ice is going to be the toe, because you're going to be pushing and digging that into the ice to generate that power and that drive. So this brings us to the end of the video. What I thought I'd do in this part is just go over some of the things that I really liked about the G1 slide board. The first one is definitely going to be how big this thing is. It's 5 by 8 which gives you a massive amount of space to be able to practice on, which is always a bonus because if you're trying to work on your stride you definitely need to make sure that you have enough space to fully extend your legs to recreate um, the sort of motion that you do while you're on the ice to be able to train those muscles that you're using. The second one that I really liked is definitely going to be the fact that you're able to work on your stride outside of the ice rink. Um, a lot of hockey players that like to train off the ice will know that it's very difficult to um, sort of recreate the motion that you get on the ice while you're off the ice. Being able to target those specific muscles that you use on the ice and be able to develop and strengthen them off the ice, there isn't a bunch of workouts that you can do, especially if you're at a, a sort of a, a regular gym. If it's sort of a sports specific gym, you might have a few more bits of extra equipment, but it's nice to see that this sort of allows you to do those specific things from home. Another one of the things that I liked is the fact that it lets you build your lateral movement. That's something that a lot of hockey players definitely need to be able to sort of utilize. Um, it's really cool the fact that you can also do it with a puck, so you can sort of practice um, moving uh, laterally uh, with a stick and a puck in your hands, and you can do it all from the comfort of your house, which is definitely a bonus. Another thing that I really liked well is, uh, considering this thing is made from a sort of a plasticky, a very sort of high wearing, high density plastic, it's pretty cool to see that it slides incredibly well. Once you put those booties on, either on your feet or over your shoes, it slides incredibly well, which sort of allows you to focus on developing the muscles rather than trying to get the thing to slide properly, which is always a bonus. 
Uh, one of the other aspects that I really loved was the fact that it allows you to strengthen the muscles. This is coming back to what I said earlier on, but it's one of those things that it doesn't look that difficult when you're watching it, but when you actually attempt to do the sliding motion um, and you're trying to get the technique uh, sort of down to a T and, you, and you're doing it constantly for sort of half an hour, 45 minutes, you start to feel the burn in your legs, which lets you know that this thing is working. So it allows you to work on your strengthening of the leg muscles. It work, allows you to work on your agility, your skating speed and general power on the ice, which is definitely a bonus. Another thing that's definitely going to be sort of an advantage is going to be the fact that this thing is very high wearing and long lasting. I know guys that have been using these things for 5-6 years in the States and also in Canada, which is just testament to it's not the sort of thing that you're going to buy and have to replace after a year. Long lasting, hard wearing means that it's going to, you're going to be able to get a hell of a lot of use um, out of it while you've got it. Uh, one of the other points that I thought I'd mention is the fact that don't only visualize this thing as a slide board. Remember that you can use this thing as a large shooting pad, as you probably saw some clips of me uh, doing earlier on. You get a massive amount of space, so you can practice deeks, you can practice tricks, because you're able to stand on it because of how big it is while you're stick handing around different objects through your legs, which is definitely a bonus. So now let's take a look at some of the disadvantages of this thing. Of course, the first one I'm sure anyone, everyone is going to be able to notice and recognize is the price. Uh, these things aren't cheap, they're about uh, £379-ish. There'll be a link down below for you guys to be able to go pick one up. Um, it's definitely going to be something that you have to think about before going ahead and purchasing because it's not cheap. But as I said, it does have a ton of useful sort of aspects that you can use and the fact that it lasts so long is always an advantage. The second one is also a positive and a disadvantage, it's the size. Um, because of how big it is, you need to make sure that you have enough space before you purchase it because it's much, much bigger than the sort of the roll-up pads, the shooting pads. So you need to make sure you have enough space to use it if it's going to be um, indoors. It's not something that I'd recommend storing outside. So definitely make sure you have enough space before you pick one up. Uh, one of the other things, of course, is definitely going to be the holes that you might have seen me talking about earlier on in the video. It has the holes all over the, the um, surface for different devices to be able to clip into. If you use this slide board without shoes on, um, just socks and the booties over the top of those, you can find that your toes can kind of go into those holes and it can be a bit irritating and uncomfortable. The last advantage, uh, disadvantage sorry, uh, is going to be the, um, s the stoppers that you get on the ends that you slide across and sort of um, stop you from going all the way off the board. Uh, because of them, the fact that they're made from solid plastic means that they actually do start to sort of make your feet a bit sore after you've been using them for a while, which is another reason why I recommend doing this in sneakers or trainers, just to make sure that your feet aren't taking too much abuse. So it would be nice to see if uh, God of One could maybe incorporate some sort of foam padding around the stoppers, just to make it a bit more comfortable. Uh, maybe just sort of think about um, the, the fact that our feet are going to be smashing against them, so it'd be nice to see some sort of uh, um, um, upgrades or improvements made to the stoppers to make them a bit more comfortable on your feet. But besides that, hopefully this video has given you a better insight into what these slide boards are like. Again, if you want to be able to pick one up, there'll be a link down below so you can go get one. This is Chris from Hockey Tutorial, guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and share the video. Take care till next time.